you been Sherlocked? If so, don't be embarrassed. You're not alone. The famous detective from Baker Street is making a resurgence, thanks in large part to the new BBC series. Benedict Cumberbatch has turned Holmes into a sex symbol and pop culture superstar 127 years after Sir Arthur Conan Doyle created him in print. Why do we keep coming back to Sherlock? Uh, it's obviously his timeless character and the idea that uh, he solves the crimes and mysteries of life with his mind. That's Charles Peters, the actor currently playing Holmes in the Coronado Playhouse production of Sherlock Holmes, The Final Adventure. What's more, I see six nearly parallel cuts on the inside of your left shoe. The discipline of his mind, he's single-minded, he is very, uh, has very obsessive behaviors, which we all have, and he's an outsider, and I think a lot of us can relate to that as well. A character like Sherlock Holmes is, is gonna be timeless because you can fit him into any period. And I think men enjoy people like Holmes, and I think women enjoy people like mm -hmm. Holmes too. So it, it's kind of like a, a James Bond character in the sense that you know you can like him on so many different levels, and they like the uh, the buddies. You sure. Know? Yeah. Yeah. There's no mistaking that there's a great love affair going on between, not in the you know physical sense, but a great love affair of two men of you know sharing adventure and so forth and especially in the stories. Debbie Noel agrees. She plays Irene Adler, Holmes's only true love. It is a face a man might die for. He always figures things out. He's never out of control and no matter what is thrown at him he will find his way to the end of it and I think people like that. There are so many stories and they mostly have a period element to them which makes them seem even more mysterious to us but you can translate it into uh, any time. I read somewhere that every generation throws up its own Sherlock and almost in the same way that people talk about Hamlet and that's what seems to happen. Sherlock just never goes away. Neil MacDonald plays Moriarty, Holmes's nemesis in the same production. I wanted to give us the original Moriarty, the Moriarty that appears in the stories. Holmes describes him as having a hunched look from all those years of study the slightly reptilian fashion with which he moves his head from side to side. I really wanted to give us that. Now, one of the joys about reading the stories is not so much the mystery, but in the amazing deductions that Holmes makes. And then he unravels his procedure for you. And yes, it is so self-evident. We should have got that. Elementary, my dear fellow. If only I could see what you see. Oh, you see, Watson, but you do not observe. The distinction is clear. And he's a little bit of a villain in the sense that he's rude and dismissive and he has very odd eccentric habits. And so he's not a regular person. He's not a very lovable character when you look at him from the outset. So I, I think that's part of his appeal as well, that he's very much an individual. The truth is always out in the open. I think when you say Sherlock Holmes, people have a particular image that comes to mind. And we do pay homage to that in the play. We don't dismiss that entirely. So there are elements that come into place later in the show where we honor those. Now, if, if you watch the BBC Sherlock or watch the CBS uh, Elementary, what you'll find is that's a far more naturalistic approach, if you like. This one is very much more self-consciously theatrical. Sherlock Holmes' The Final Adventure offers a contrast to the current wave of contemporary Sherlocks, but it too is finding an audience. They're invested in the characters and I think they're invested in the story. They want to see what happens next, which is fantastic. Time is short, Watson, and one final adventure is at hand. So the game's afoot at the Coronado Playhouse. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.